Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here with a haul from Timu. I will um, try to remember to link stuff below. If I forget, just ask. I'll link you to what you need to find um, if there's something you're interested with. Um, but let me just jump right in. Uh, the first thing that I got were these leaf paper clips. I don't know. Le paper clips, although they come in a lot of shapes, they don't always... Um, how do I explain? When you attach it to the paper, you know, once you put the clip on, you lose part of the designs. Um, so I think that line down the middle would have been cuter. But anyhow, these were only a dollar ten cents. So I figured, why not try them? They're still cute and I can use them. So I grabbed those. Um, the next thing I picked up were these flat back um, pumpkins. I am working on a project. I can't share it yet, but um, when I get it ready, I'll share. But these pumpkins were um, $3.40 and you get 30 pieces. So I thought they were kind of pretty. They're not anything special, fancy, but um, they're nice for what I need them for. They'll do, they'll work just fine. So again, $3.40 for 30 pieces. Um, the next thing also for the same project <laughs> are these spoons. I got, um, there's 20 in here and uh, they're $4.55. And this is what they look like if you want to see one. I thought they were pretty for what I'm doing. They're they're fallish looking, you know, with the little leaves there. So um, it'll it'll work fine for what I need them for. Kind of an odd purchase, I know, but whatever. <laughs> so um, the next thing I got now, this is one of a one of those times when you say, "Why didn't I look at the measurements?" Because, yeah. <laughs> Here, let me put some on a plate for you. They're tiny. They came really small. So be be sure to check your sizes because, I mean, they're cute and I can still use them. But these are pumpkins. Can you even tell? <laughs> they were um, a dollar five cents for 20 pieces. But yeah, they're, look at my nail. I mean, they're tiny. So I would have preferred that they had been bigger, but um, that's all right. So you get 20 in the pack and... Like I said, they're not great, but they'll work for some things, I suppose. Um, another one that I picked up were these, and these were, let's see, let me open them. Oh, gosh, sorry, this one was tight. Um, these were a dollar thirty-two cents, and you get 20, and they are fall uh, maple leaves, so I thought they were really pretty. You can tell I'm working on fall projects <laughs> by the by the charms, right? So those were okay. Um, the next ones were these. And man, I don't know. It seems like 50. You get 50 of these. Um, they were $3.14. And they are uh, wheat. Wheat charms, I guess. You know, wheat stems or I don't know how you refer to those but they're in bundles and I thought they were really cute so I went ahead and grabbed those and I think yeah 314 for 60 or 50 I'm sorry so that's those um the next ones I picked up were these and these are Christmas stockings with little stuffing in it and they were $1.70 for 20 trying to put them near this light so you can kind of see it better so they're pretty cute for that kind of you know just for adding to your projects they just add that little extra something something these are some more charms that I got I have some dies and stuff too I'm just doing the charms first these are $1.79 for 20 and they are Christmas trees you see right there I'm trying to keep it away where you could kind of see it so they're pretty I like them like I said simple but okay um that's the one thing I like about Timu is they're not very expensive for the charms and you get a whole mess of them so every now and then if you get one you're not happy with it it's all right but these I liked I thought these were really pretty these are deer and you get uh 20 for two dollars oops two dollars and eight cents so I thought those were really pretty and then the last charms that I have to share with you are, um, there's a, I have a story about this one. 
I haven't moved this package because when I pulled it out of the package, this is how it came. And this word is believe. And um, my mom uh, told me that was my word when she was living. And so I have her ashes in my bedroom. Um, and every morning when I get up, I talk to her. And this yesterday I was talking to her and I said, hi, mama, I'm sorry I haven't... Uh, had any signs from you lately because you you I don't go outside as much so I'm not seeing feathers and things that she always seems to present feathers to me and um I said but I'd still like to get a sign that you're you're with me and I I know she is she's always with me but I just wanted a sign I hadn't had one in a while and I was on the phone with a friend my team order came I went out to get it I opened it and I gasped and my friend was like what's going on and I'm like Oh my God. So I took this picture of this to show her that the word believe had gotten stuck up in the top here. And um, I thought that was super special because my mom, it was like she was sending me the sign that I had asked for. So anyhow, these were $2.11. Now I'll move it out of where it was. It got stuck up in here in this thing. So it was just weird how that happened. But, um, you know, that's why I said mama just sends me signs all the time. So these are, how do these work? These are all word charms, and they're all different. That one's weird right there. I'll show you that one in a minute. That's weird. So there's all different words in here. Um, there we go. You get the, um, what do you call these? Um, lobster claws and the jump rings to attach them to these. Oh, I forgot some more so these are um all different words so it's like imagine um you saw believe protected uh faith grace beautiful family that miracle one has a i guess the a is a star and then the love has a heart for the um cut out it's kind of hard to see these i know because they're it's the lighting is terrible right now um there's enough brave willpower just a lot of various words, and for $2.11, I thought that was a really good deal, and I like those. I like the affirmations a lot. Okay, next. <laughs> this was a weird purchase. This one, <laughs> I it was a ring, and you know, jewelry, you know it's not real, so it's okay. Um, and I thought, you know what, it's cute. It's a dollar. It cost me $1.20, so... Um, I bought a big size. It's too actually big to fit on my middle finger, <laughs> but that's the ring. is a It's a heart, but um, it's pretty. I mean, it's fake, you know that. And but this, um, they could have made the heart a little more faceted. It might have made it almost look real, because this here part looks almost like my wedding band part <laughs> on the on my ring. So anyway, but that was a dollar, and it was just something funny to buy and put in my my basket. Um, the next thing I have to share with you are some a stamp set that I got. This stamp set cost 93 cents, and it's Christmas sentiments. And um, let's try not to get glare. So it says, all I want for Christmas is you. Deck the halls, let it snow. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Here comes Santa. Claus, um, follow yonder star. Jingle all the way. May your days be merry, merry and bright. Um, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, walking in a winter wonderland. Um, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And this one's hard to read. Joy to the world, I believe is what that says. So it's cute. I love the way they mix the sizes of the fonts. So I, I thought those would be nice sentiment steps to have in my collection. Um, so next, let's get into some dies. I only picked up a few this time, um, but they're okay. Um... You know, you know how it goes. Sometimes you really love what you get and sometimes you don't, but these are okay. Um, so this die is a like a starburst thingy. It was one dollar twenty one cents. It's about four inches from this biggest uh, point to this side. And um this is how it looks. Now I've layered um I layered two on each other offset a little bit so that's how they showed it in their example I thought it looked cute and I thought these would look really cute to tuck behind you know clusters and things like that it has a nice starburst effect so that was that one 
The next one I got is not very exciting. However, I liked it. It's these number cupcake. They look like cupcake picks, but they're you use them for other things. I their numbers they just cut out on things like this, and this is really hard to see. There you go. So you get number zero through nine. Um, I thought these would be kind of cute. Like if you're doing maybe a, an album, like a photo album, and you wanted to do. I don't have all the numbers cut correctly, but if you wanted to put the year, you know. 1958 or whatever behind a cluster and have the numbers popping out that would be cute or if you wanted um to do a birthday card and someone was turning 50 you could put these in there in the in the embellishment or cluster or whatever it is you make so that's why i picked those up i just thought they were fun and something different i like different <laughs> um the next one i have to share with you is a word die and this cost what did this cost? $2.57. And it measures four across at the widest, four inches by three and a quarter down. What I loved about this particular one is that it's not only double layer, like the, the words and then the layer behind it, but it's a triple layer. So you get three separate pieces and this is how it looks when you cut it out. And I think it's so pretty. Um, they have other sentiments um, as well, but this was the... The one I wanted, I thought it was super cute. So that was a great deal. Um, okay, this one here, <laughs> I have mixed feelings about this. And I'm assuming that this must come from like a copycat because I don't know that the pieces are, well, maybe they're all here. I don't know. It, it's just a, one of those things that you're, <laughs> you question. So it's supposed to be flowers there it was only 97 cents so i'm not losing a whole lot they're about one one and a half inches in diameter and they cut out <laughs> they cut out lots of pieces so if you're not a piece person if you don't like doing pieces and piecing things together um when i saw these and i'll show it to you because when i saw them if i can open it what the heck is that thing here it is never can see those openings somewhere here sorry um when you look at these pieces now see those pieces were separate and then these pieces look like this which i thought oh they're cute little doilies and stuff and then i'll show you the example what i what made me like them but um in actuality this piece cuts out here so it cuts out uh, like a border and then it cuts the interior which is this piece and same with this one it cuts out this piece and then that piece and this one cuts out the big section and then that little section so they they are required to put together and this was the picture on the website and i think they're just pretty i think they look nice and um, I don't mind sometimes I don't feel like crafting but I want to craft a little something and I don't mind sitting there and paper piecing things like this together so I put together two just so you could kind of see um, this wasn't even a sample but I made it one <laughs> it wasn't how they showed it but um, I just layered it um, on top of each other so that it had some look this one I kind of like it's pretty that was like uh maybe this one and i have to tell you another thing though oh no it's like this one um the indentations how they show here in the picture they're not that deep um in person i mean you could see them but they're not as pronounced you could see them more maybe with a lighter cardstock but anyway so i thought it was kind of cute so why not what the heck it was cheap enough and if i didn't like it i could always just give it or toss it or whatever and then the last one I have to share with you is Mr. Snowman. He is a leaning or peaking snowman, which means you can use him in several ways. You can either put him like this, so he's leaning or laying into something, or you could, um, hold on, I'm grabbing something because I didn't cut this other piece out and I want to show it to you in case you're interested. And I want to explain some stuff too because this... It also comes with a Santa hat, which I didn't use. I used the other hat. Um, so it comes with a die to cut the nose, but it doesn't come with a die to do the eyes, the mittens. It's only one piece. So you have to cut them separately and they don't come all the way out. This will, no matter how many times you run it back and forth, 
these will not pop out separately. They are still attached, but they do pop out enough that you can just get your scissors and snip them, which is what I did, and that's how I got his um, his gloves. So these dots on here, they don't even pop out. Um, they might emboss, but they don't pop out. So that's just a little bit for you, but it is super cute. And so he can be laying like this, or you can put him like this where he's peeking out from behind a doorway or something like that. I thought it's super cute. Um, and I don't mind paper piecing. As I said, I like it. It's very relaxing to me. And then I just use some white gel pen on his eyes to give it a little oomph oomph. So there you go. That's my haul from Timu. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're having a great time out there and enjoying this season that's coming upon us. And until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.